host of complex projects cover the Belt and Road and risks are measured and managed by actuaries, experts working to insurance and reinsurance companies worldwide. In Asia, very large and small actuarial firms are joined by differentiated JP Wall of Hong Kong. So there was a need for someone in the middle, someone who had the international best practice and experience and also the local knowledge. So that's when we started opening up offices around the region. It's uh, an exciting time for our industry and, and all industries as, as the spread of Asian companies expands across the region. The Belt and Road Initiative has encouraged project owners, along with insurance and reinsurance companies, to cover risks and so requiring actuaries. I mean, we're certainly growing along the road and growing into the belt at the moment. So across Southeast Asia, definitely in Hong Kong, springboarded to Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand and Philippines. We're having local offices and doing work all across the Belt and Road and now growing into the Middle East, India and then further up into continental Europe as well. We like to think of ourselves as a trusted advisor. That's the kind of relationship we want to develop with clients. And as those clients expand their reach across the region, it's natural that our relationship with them would expand alongside that. Three different types of clients. So we represent some of the largest names globally in insurance who have local businesses in those countries and want the best, the best advice they can get. We also represent the smallest companies who need someone who understands the local market and can guide them through the process. And then we also have the large local players in each market who are now competing with those large global players and want to make sure that they're a step ahead. So some clients, for example, will specialise on the large oil and gas risks in a country that's like the Middle East or Malaysia that has a lot of those risks. And these clients may end up reinsuring a lot of that business to the large reinsurers. With most clients specifically insuring infrastructure, the quality of risk assessment and management are all important. Mainly it's understanding the risks that they're riding. Because in the past, most insurance companies would price based on, based on the wind, based on how the market was moving and how the competition was moving. Now insurance companies, specifically in Asia, want to understand the underlying risk in the business and price it appropriately. While actuarial support, mergers and acquisitions and advisory work make up the bulk of JP Wall's business, technology is playing an increasing role under the InsureTech umbrella. Well, InsureTech now is such a, a hot word. All the insurance companies are talking about InsureTech and what they're doing. And what we're doing as actuarial consulting firm is we've developed our own InsureTech, which is we've developed over the last three to four years, which is putting all of our actuarial expertise into a piece of software which is then accessible to all insurance companies across the region. That's developed partly in Hong Kong and also across the Belt and the Road. Based in Hong Kong, JP Wall looks set to grow its business along the Belt and Road Initiative. The upside for us in terms of potential development is immense. The companies are beginning to use actuarial involvement and that will only grow. I compared it across the region and I decided that Hong Kong was the best place for me at that time to establish a business and use it as a platform to grow across Asia.